How's it going everybody? In today's episode of Driven Hard, I am gonna be doing a full clean, deep clean, and a detail of my 2019 Range Rover Sport, um, and that's coming up right now. Hey everyone, my name's Emeka and this is my 2019 Range Rover Sport. And uh, today I'm gonna do a full interior deep clean and detail and get this baby cleaned up as best that my skills allow me to do. If you saw my latest video, I did the full exterior and um, that was actually about two weeks ago. I haven't washed out, the entire family came down with COVID. And uh, so finally I got my energy back and I'm gonna do a full uh, deep clean of the interior. The outside's a little dirty, so it's kind of a backwards video, but I just, I, I don't have the energy to do the exterior right now. So we're gonna do the interior, but I wanna run you through a couple of the products I'm gonna be using and, um, and then walk you through the process of how I'm gonna be doing this. This, this will be the most intense uh, interior cleaning I've ever done in the, in the two years I've, I've owned this thing. And I used to do the interior quite regularly. I haven't done it in, in I, probably since, who knows, almost, coming up in almost, maybe almost a year, I haven't done a proper interior clean. So um, also, I'll roll some B-roll so you can actually see what it's, what it's like, but this is gonna be insane. So what I'm gonna be using here, this is gonna look like a freaking chemical guys fanboy video. I promise you, it's just cause that's the stuff that I've had for the longest time and I haven't ran out yet. So it's a total interior and cleaner. Um, so we're gonna be using this. Um, for the leather, um, short notice, I could really only, this was the best stuff I've, I've been able to find on short notice. There are some other products I wanted to use, but I'm gonna be using Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner and Conditioner. Um, I got a leather brush and um, we got Mango Scent. It's Chemical Guys as well. There's nothing like, they make some good stuff, but they're just, they're, they just don't make, like there is some way better stuff, especially for the interior cleaner. Um, I just, once again, uh, being sick, short of time, I wanted just to get the car clean. And so I wasn't able to get some of the better products that I, I wanted to try out. Uh, and then we got some Silk and Shine. I'll show you when I'm gonna use this. And then because, because um, the door sills and everything have got a bit of dust on them, um, I'm just gonna use the spray and wipe. Uh, it's the Optimum Opti Clean. And this is basically like a waterless, um, car wash and uh, I have a bit of solution. I think this should really be all I'll need and I'll be doing some of the panels uh, you'll see with that. I got an array of microfiber brushes, uh, toothbrush. You know when you bring out the toothbrush, it's gonna be detailed and uh, vent cleaners and stuff. So I'm gonna walk through all of that stuff at the different stages that I'll be using them. You can see I'm already, I'm already winded, man. The sickness sucked, um, but uh, yeah. So anyways, let me, uh, we're gonna start with vacuuming the whole thing. So let's get to that. So what you can see here is what I've done. I've moved the seats um, as far forward as they can possibly go, including the back, just to give me um, optimum space to work with in between here. I start with the front, then I'm gonna do this side, go across the seat, do all of this, um, do the back here, and then I'll move to the front, and then we'll do the cargo space the rear of the vehicle afterwards. That's kind of the process. It just helps me know that I haven't missed anything and whatnot. So I just keep working the car in that particular pattern. There's Aureas wedged in, in here underneath the, the seat belts. Oh, we got her. Right, 
kids find holes for everything. So time to do the seats. So I got Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. Like I said, there's better ones out there, but this is what I could just grab from the store right now. So what I'm gonna do is spray it onto a leather cleaner brush, create some sort of lather, and hope for the best. This is a great opportunity to talk about why Canadian Tire sucks for buying automotive stuff. Once again, short on time, but I'm gonna order a new brush and forgive the breathing, I explained that earlier, but already the bristles are coming out of this um, boar's hair brush and they're, I'm finding them on the seats. So this brush is actually creating more work for me. So this is was the only option they had. Simone's, Simone's or whatever that product is, Canadian Tire so sells is definitely just complete garbage. Ouch, that's some damage there, but oh well. At least I know the cleaner works. So I don't know if you guys can see, but just some discoloration here in the seat, right? Right on the bolster. So what I'm gonna do, spray some cleaner directly on that and just work that spot a little bit more. This might oh that's just worn leather yeah so that's just worn oh well hopefully the conditioner makes it look a little better So when doing the back seats, um, obviously you have the back seats, but then also you want to make sure you're getting, this is when I do the back of the back of the leather on the, um, on the back of the chair here. And of course, you can't forget about the door panels that uh, kids get their grubby little hands all over. In fact, I got a sticker here for Thor. I'm very anti stickers on my cars, but I love my son too much that Thor is probably gonna st stay there. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's just get to it. So far, this is actually the leather cleaner. It removed um, some uh, a big leather stain that I had that I had on the seat up here pretty well. You can see it's still slightly there, um, but it's not there, like you can't really, nobody's, I'll show the wife and she'll say it's gone basically. But I can still see it, it's slightly there still, but. I'm pretty happy with that so far. So uh, one thing I will mention, if you guys want to learn more about how to like detail and clean your car, just take care of your stuff. Um, I'm like amateur level here, right? But Pan the Organizer, um, you can check out his channel on YouTube, fellow Canadian, what's up Pam? Um, but he does an incredible job. I and mean, I've learned a lot of the techniques that you see in this video. Um, I've learned from guys like Pan, um, as well as Obsessed Garage. Um, those two channels have really helped me up the level of taking care of my baby. You can't forget your steering wheel because that's obviously where your hands are most of the time. So, oils from your hands, your fingers, off-roading mud, everything just gets caked in here. And a cool thing is to leather, when it's shiny, it's dirty. Leather should have a matte finish. It's one thing I've learned from the pros. And guys, we still have to condition. Everything you just saw me do, we gotta do it again and condition it. So this is quite the process. Only for the dedicated, like yourselves. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? Look at that. I'm just checking for all the stitching. Make sure there's no mud or anything tra trapped in there still. Okay. 
last little panel. All right, all the leather now has been cleaned and scrubbed. Um, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna move the truck inside the garage. The sun's starting to shine down on me and it's heating up a little bit and I don't really wanna put the conditioner on hot leather. So I'll move it inside and then what I'll start doing, I'll start doing all the other panels, um, basically all the plastics. Um, inside the car. Um, I'll start doing all of those to give the leather time to, to cool down. So let's back her up. So now we're gonna focus on all the door panels, the hard plastic trim and uh, speaker grates and the underbody here. So I got the total interior cleaner, shake that up on that fancy wood trim that I paid for. You know that, right? Then I got an, a different microfiber towel and I'm just gonna do my thing. Open it up, clean in here. Don't forget the door jam or the door handle area. Get in there. Okay. Good. We got the buttons. Now, how do we do small things like this? Well, we use the, use the toothbrush. So I'm gonna take my interior cleaner. Hopefully you guys saw that, all right? And all I'm gonna do, it probably doesn't even need this, but just, it's a soft bristle toothbrush. And I'm just gonna do that for the, for this, the smaller parts, right? Like some of this stuff is not even dirty, but you know that. It depends how OCD do you want to be about this, right? It's what it really comes down to. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some protection to it. Um, so the silk can shine and really, I just like this cause it looks so much cooler. Um, shake it up, spray it onto a microfiber applicator pad and then we're just gonna on all the black plastic stuff you may be thinking do you really got to do the underside of the door because who's gonna see it the point is not who's gonna see it it's you, you know how clean your car is Right? I ain't doing this for other people. I'm doing this because I want a clean car. All right? It's good to get some time with you again, baby. Yeah, I talked to my car. Special relationship we got here. All right? You telling me that door doesn't look 110% better now? Oh, it's going to dry off a little bit. It's going to dim some of that shine. And it's, it's going to look better than when I picked it up back in 2019, May 4th. So to clean these vents, I found a little vent cleaner. First time I'm gonna be using it, so we're gonna kind of see how it how it works. You could also use a, um, a whatchamacallit, tooth or a, what do you call it, Q-tip. So I wish I had like an air gun, um, so you could blow air to really get some of that stuff out there the dust but this seems to be doing the job actually I'll 
probably spray, uh, I don't know. No, I think that's, that, that should be okay, actually. Yeah, some compressed air would be great. But, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. What do you guys think? Hmm? Not too, too bad. All right, so this is the console. This is the part that I really, really wanted to get to. Um, bugs me the most because it's just absolutely disgusting. In fact, let me show you how gross this is. It's just absolutely, I've taken off the plastic covering there and we're gonna get all up in here, guys. Um, in like, in there. It's just, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We'll just do a quick soak spray down first. And then take the toothbrush and just, I just wanna kinda break up all the, all the, oh man, that's gross. Break up everything first, and then I'll go in and wipe it, wipe it down. Let's see if we can do these rails. Not, not do some rails. These rails. Oh my God, this feels almost so much better already. See if that sticks still. Oh, it doesn't stick anymore. <sighs> Toothbrush, the best cleaning tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Hey guys, so how to remove that? I got a little paper clip here. Hopefully the sizing matches up. And if I had something a little smaller, but it seems to be working, which is good. Yeah, that worked. Right, nice and cleared there. So to do the perforated hosing of leather, I'm just using a little paper clip and it worked pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna do some leather conditioner. Uh, once again, it's just chemical guys, leather conditioner, it's what I had. There are way better ones, but um, whatever. If you're just time on time, whatever, this, it works decently. All right, so we're just going to shake it up, apply it, this is a new microfiber applicator. A couple things. And honestly, we're just going to all over every ounce. I'm gonna go a little heavy on this because I haven't done these seats in a very long time. Hey guys, you might, while you're doing this to your Land Rover product, um, occasionally you're gonna get a low battery start engine message from the dash. And uh, don't panic, it's just a stupid fail safe Land Rover has to keep your battery at like 90% all the time. So I just start up the vehicle, run it, you know, let it just kind of do its thing uh, for five minutes or whatever, and then just turn it back off and uh, that's good to go. It just tends to happen when you have all your doors open and everything. All right, so now I'm just gonna do some of these like, um, I don't know if you can see them, but like those panels, the inside panels, uh, or door trim rather, um, 
just because I missed that when I did the exterior wash. And uh, well, I'm not gonna do a hand exterior wash right now because this is taking hours and I'm just done. But um, like I said, I'm using the op, op to OptiClean and uh, it's kind of, and they're not overly dirty. So just uh, really, it's just dusting. But this will just help add to the finished look. All right, oh man, those are so good right now. Those are, uh, that's, uh, this stuff, this stuff is amazing. I could honestly do the whole car, um, but I'm just gonna go spray it at a touch less. Um, just water, uh, foam gun, uh, and then not touch it with the brush or anything, but with the fine little bit of dust, then I'll do some, um, um, what you might call it? Can't even think of the name right now, but it'll be pretty much like I've just washed it. So, cause like I said, it's just been sitting in the garage. All right, so to do the glass, I'm using, guess it, Chemical Guys Glass Cleaner. Honestly, this is my favorite product from Chemical Guys. Um, this glass cleaner is just, it's no BS, no, no streaking, uh, no whatever. So the glass is not too hot. Um, so all I do, I got a waffle, a waffle microfiber um, thing. So it has just little weaves in it. And it's been a while since I've used this. All right, so just spray directly on it. Little tip when you're when you're doing the windshield, I only do half of it so it doesn't dry too fast on me. Now, if it looks dirty because the outside hasn't been done yet, so I'm gonna go take care of that shortly. So what I'm gonna do for um, the pedals and uh, the interior for these parts is use the tough brush uh, or tough shine brush. I did this on the tires in the exterior video and then just the total cleaner. I'm gonna dose everything. Um, and then basically just get to work. Once again, it's not because anyone's gonna see this area. The only person who's gonna see it is me. And that's why I want this clean. All right guys, so last couple things here. Um, so to make the car, honestly, I don't even know if I wanna do this or not. <laughs> Cause I hate these things. I just bought it for video purposes. Um, let me commit to the smell. It's it's mango. You can't really go wrong with mango, right? Okay, so I tried to find a video that I saw how to do this properly, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just going off memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the car's AC system, and I'm basically gonna douse the passenger uh, footwell area with this spray. So make sure you like it. And then I'm gonna max the AC with the recirculation air on. And so what that's supposed to do is basically take all of the air, which is now scented, and run it through the, the car's AC system. And the particles from this are going to automatically just get shoved onto the air filter, the cabin air filter, um, thus giving it, a, it, basically making it last longer. So wish me luck, hopefully I don't regret this, um, but I'm gonna turn on my max AC. Uh, make sure we're, we're doing some, some foot circulations there. Give the system a second to jump up. Okay, there we go. 
and douse. Oh yeah, I can see it getting sucked up right away, huh? So hopefully that's enough. I'll just shut the door. I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. I don't know, I might throw my, a bit on here. Or actually, you know what, I'll probably see how that is, see if I like the smell, and then if I like it, I'll add some more. But let's get wrapping up with the windows here. All right guys, I'm absolutely done. If you made it to the end of this video, drop me, drop me a cleaning emoji. I'll put the first, I'll put one emoji to drop in the first comment and I'll pin it. But if you made it to the end, you are a diehard like me. So mad respect, but she is clean. All is once again right in the world. And um, I'm just, I'm out of energy but I think I'm gonna go for a quick little rip over to my brother's place. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of this video. <laughs> kind of at a loss for words, cause I am just, like I said, completely spent. I started this project at about, I started this project at about 10, 10, 30 in the morning. And uh, I think it's like three, four o'clock right now. So it's an all day endeavor, but what a beautiful way to spend the day, isn't it? Till next time everyone, I'm a Mecca. Let me know what you are driving hard. Thank you.